So what does it take and what does it mean to heal that inner child? Yeah, so inner child healing, for the audience who may not know what it is, your inner child is a psychological part of the brain. Um, I like to visualize her inside of your heart space. Um, And she's that child part of you, that part of you that has needs, um, like basic needs, but also needs love, needs attention sometimes, the needy part of you, and also wants to play, wants to have fun, be creative, you know, the child part of you. So embracing and healing your inner child isn't about being childish. That's a different thing. It's about connecting with that child part of you so that you can still enjoy life and play and have fun and meet your own needs. It's really important for our self-worth and self-love. So your inner child can show up in many ways in your life and being aware of how she shows up um, can help you be aware of the cause of certain patterns in your life. For example, one of my patterns used to be chasing unavailable men, like forcing, not forcing, but kind of wanting men to to like me, to love me, Mm -hmm. getting my worth from men's validation. And that was my inner child because she didn't get all the love she needed from her parents. And so then as an adult, she started chasing that from other men. Mm -hmm. So things like that, being aware of your inner child can help you to break patterns that no longer serve you. And just what is the process though, of like being aware of your patterns and starting to break it? I want you to walk me through how you healed or the things that you do. Yeah. So going back to that example, then yeah. the anxious attachment, chasing unavailable men, I, so I just became aware that, okay, that's, that's actually little Jasmine. She's craving the love she didn't get as a child. And she's now placing her worth in men and getting validation from being chosen, like forcing them kind of to like me or persuading mm-hmm. them, convincing them. Um, then when I became aware of that, I started talking to her and connecting to her. And ways you can do that include writing letters, meditation, getting a photo of her and looking at her, speaking to her. And I just went within and I, and I told her, you know, Jasmine, you're enough, you're worthy. You don't need to make someone like you to feel worthy. You can choose mm-hmm. to feel worthy now and just kind of tending to her, like being mm-hmm. the good mother to my inner child because that's who we are now we get to be the good mothers to her or good father if you're um, a guy listening to this um and when I went through that then I started becoming really aware of this pattern showing up again I remember it did I started to kind of chase someone who was emotionally unavailable not ready for a relationship and I was like hmm okay I'm aware now Jasmine I didn't have to continue down this path because I can give myself the validation I'm seeking from him through things like just being kinder to myself, um, giving myself compliments throughout the day, just treating myself like a queen mm, <laughs> to I love that. validate myself, validate my own emotions. Just, just because when we're chasing unavailable men, it's kind of like you're, you feel like your existence depends on someone else choosing you. But that doesn't Mm -hmm. have to be the case at all when you start valuing your own existence yourself. 